Hello, my friends. I'm Clover. Uh, first of all, I apologize for the audio in this particular gas walkthrough. Um, I'm struggling a little bit this morning. I could not find my headphones when I woke up to save my life, and I wanted to get this recording out for you folks. So I'm sorry. I will do my best to kind of normalize the audio here in post, but if it didn't quite work out, then just bear with me. So this is The Green Lagoon, which is the gas puzzle from September 9th, 2024, posted by Philip Newman. And I am Clover, and I'm going to be solving it with you today. So rules, we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then we also have German whispers rules, so we have these green lines in the grid, and along each green line, digits that are adjacent to each other, like these two digits or like these two digits, etc., have to have a difference of 5 or more. And that gives us some digits right off the bat. So if you look at the six, there is only one number that's va valid in Sudoku that has a difference of five or greater away from six, which is one. Similarly, there's only one number in Sudoku that has a difference of at least five away from four, which is nine. So from there, let's take a look at these cells, and then we're going to look at these vertical lines, and we're going to pencil mark in, and we're going to see that things will start to reduce gradually. So eight has to be next to either a 1, a 2, or a 3. There are no other numbers that are far enough away from 8 to be adjacent to 8 along a German Whispers line. This number, whatever it is, has to be high, because along German Whispers lines, digits are always going to alternate high, low, high, low, high, low, because with a difference of at least 5, we either have to flip from a low digit over to a high one or from a high digit over to a low one. So this has to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. 8 and 6 are already taken, so that will be a 7 or 9. Similarly, this has to be low, it has to be a 1 or a 3. And this has to be high, meaning it has to be a 6 or a 7, because 8 and 9 are already taken. Now if we examine this, 6 and 7, neither of those can possibly be next to a 3. 6 is only 3 away from 3, and 7 is only 4 away from 3, so this definitely has to be a 1. And then this will be either a 2 or a 3. Let's go ahead and move counterclockwise around the grid. So 9 can be next to a 1, 2, 3, or 4. We can't put a 1 there because we've already placed a 1 in the row. And we can't put a 4 here because 4 is only ever allowed to be next to 9, as discussed earlier. So 4 would have to be between two 9s, which would be in the same row, so that would be broken. This digit will have to be high, and it can't be a 6, and it can't be a 9, so that must be either a 7 or an 8. And then the digit to its right will have to be low. It already sees both a 1 and a 2, so it is a 3 or a 4. It can't be a 4, because 4 could only be next to a 9, so it must be a 3. That makes this a 2, and because 7 is too close to 3 to appear next to a 3 on a German Whisper line, that is going to have to be an 8, and that gives us the entirety of this line. So let's keep moving counterclockwise. So this digit will have to be high. That's 7, 8, or 9. This is low, and now we have a 2, 3, and 4 seeing that cell, so we know this is definitely a 1. This is high, that is a 7 or a 9. And this digit is low, and we already have 1, 2, and 3 in the column, so that will be a 4. And because that's a 4, this must be a 9, so that is either a 7 or an 8. Continuing this way, this can't be a 9, that's a 6, 7, or 8. Can't be a 6, because 6 could only be in between two matching 1s, so that's either a 7 or an 8. That's a 2 or a 3, and this is either a 6 or a 7. It can't be a 6, because we can't put a 1 next to it, so that's going to be a 7, which will resolve a lot of what's going on here. 3 can go between 7 and 8, or 3 can't go between 7 and 8 because it's too close to 7, so that will have to be a 2, exactly. So now we're down to just these two kind of unknown by values in what we've already filled in. Now, we have 1 and 9 in this row, and we also have a 9 here and a 1 here. That gives us enough information to place 9 in the only possible position in Region 5, and to place 1 in the only possible position in Region 5. And these three digits are going to be 3, 5, and 7 to finish off the region. That leaves us with 2, 4, 6, and 8 to finish the row. We can eliminate 4 there, and we can eliminate 6 here. Now I'm going to look at row 3 and row 7. The digits I still need here are 3, 5, and 6. 
This can't be a six. And also, interestingly, you can't ever have a five on a German Whispers line because there aren't any valid digits in Sudoku that have a difference of five or more with five, so there's nothing it could be next to. Therefore, that's a three. And because that's a three, this digit has to be at least five away from it, so it's eight or nine. Eight is already taken, so that will have to be a nine. This, therefore, is 1, 2, 3, or 4 to be far enough away from the 9, and it already sees a 1 and a 3, so that is either a 2 or a 4. We're going to do something similar in this row. We still need a 4, 5, and 7. That can't be a 4 or 5, so it's a 7, which is next to a 1. Same reasoning as above. This has to be high, so it must be either a 6 or an 8. Now if we look at these lines that we haven't considered yet, this has to be a low digit, and it's not 1 or 4, so it is 2 or 3. This has to be a high digit, so it is 6, 7, or 8, because there's already a 9 in the region. Those are my remaining options. 6 is not going to work, since 6 can only ever be next to a 1, and this cell is definitely not going to have a 1 in it. So that's not a 6. That gives us a 7, 8 pair and places a 6. And it also places a 5 in the column as our last digit. That 5 resolves this 5, 6, which in turn resolves this 4, 5. That removes 6 from this cell and places a 6, and removes 4 from this cell and places a 4. We're going to do the parallel thing on the other side of the grid here. We need 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 can't go there, so it goes there. This can't be a 4 because there's a 4 in the region, therefore this is our 4. These will both have to be high. They can't be 6, there's a 6 in the row, so they'll be 7, 8, or 9. And I can eliminate 8 and 9 from this position because they already appear in the column. So that's now going to be an 8, that's 7, and the number that appears between them can't be a 3. 3 is too close to 7, so that will be a 2. That makes this a 3. Now if we look over here, we can do a similar move. This has to be a low digit, so that must be either... Th that actually only has to be 3 because it sees 1, 2, and 4. That's more straightforward than what I was about to do. Making this a 2, the central digit that's far enough away from both 2 and 3 is an 8, and that resolves that into being a 7. And from this point, we should just be able to finish using classic, classic Sudoku methods. So here we need 1, 3, and 7 to finish the region. They'll go there and there. Here we're going to need a 5 and an 8 in the column. They'll go there and there. We need a 4 and a 9 to finish this region. We don't know how to resolve those yet. Here we need a 2, a 3, and an 8. And because there's a 3 and an 8 in the row, that's going to be my 2, 8, and 3. I'm going to finish this row with a 5 and 7 here and here because of the 5 in column 1. And I'm going to finish this region with an 8 right here. If we look at this region, I need a 1, a 2, and a 6. 2 can't go in those cells thanks to this 2. So this will now be a 1, 6 pair. In this column, I still need a 7 to finish up. Here I need a 3 and a 9 to finish that column. And here I need a 1, 5, 6, and 7. These can't be 1s. Ah, that's not a 7. That's also not a 7. That's not a 3. I'm just cleaning up my pencil marks for a moment. Let's look at this column now. So in this column, we still need 1, 3, 5, and 6. And the only position for a 1 in this column is going to be in this cell. Here we still need 4, 5, 7, and 9. These can't be 7 or 9. So that resolves all of this. Here I need a 3 and a 6 to finish, and that will allow me enough information to finish the whole bottom part of the grid. Now that can't be a 3, so that's a 5, and that's a 3. That makes that a 5-6 pair, which gives me a 7 here. And I can now finish the top part of the grid. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's The Green Lagoon. I hope you enjoyed that one. That was a little bit trickier than average, I think, but hopefully very gettable. Um, really benefited from using those general principles of solving German Whisper Sudoku. Can't have a five on the line. Four and six can only go next to nine and one, respectively, and so on. If you want to give that a look yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. Hope you enjoy that. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you again in three days.